I turned in and I wanted to go over some uh, steps to place files into a uh, template for the Dalfit CTS machine. Um, this template was already set up for me by the customer. I don't know if uh, Dalfit provides this or not, but uh, this is a very nice template. And uh, so I'm just going to go over the basic procedures to drop in a Photoshop multi channel. DCS EPS file. So the DCS2 is just a format for it's Photoshop's version of EPS. Uh, and it brings in the uh, channel separations with no RGB, no CMYK, nothing in it. The only thing that's in the Photoshop file EPS is the spot color channels. It has to work that way. So then you, in Illustrator, you open up your template and you go to File, Place, and then you click on um, Left Chest, and you make sure that this item here is linked because when you go find the file for your placing the item, it's so big that Illustrator doesn't like it. It bogs down, freaks out, so it wants to link the file. It doesn't become a part of the Illustrator file. It's only referencing a proxy. So we're going to link it, choose the file we want, click Place. Okay. So what you see here is just the proxy. It's not actual artwork that's going into the Illustrator template. It's being saved and linked. So I'm going to just uh, center it up there uh, for the left chest. Actually, that's the bing, to that right chest and place it at the top. <coughs> you see here it has the spot colors in place already. You can double click those if you want to see what the, um, the base white, where it's located. And the, you see how that changed up there and then the top white will change that and it doesn't show much because it's already up there also so um, but I put it put the artwork in the layer down here and I drug this if this was up here it's up top but I drug it down to the bottom so that you can see the template measurements and uh, still gonna print out because this is a template it's it's uh, when you double click on it it's set to dim and not print right and then our mock-up, there's nothing in there, it's locked anyway, and the registration marks, uh, those will print. Those should be set to, uh, like, registration black. It's swatch black. Spot color. So if there were no... To me, unless I'm missing something, if there were no color in the artwork like this is that was assigned black then it would not print out because I would only got I would only be sending these files and then to get a black separation with nothing on it so I'm going to tell it to print with registration black and registration black gets applied to every separation that's in there and you only need to do it one time doesn't need to go on on, on a copy on every color it's just one time registration black and it prints out and so I'm going to save that um, save as a copy and I'm going to change it to Adobe Illustrator and when I save as Adobe Illustrator I'm going to name that uh, left chest dragon And then I'm going to save in that same location. Uh, and I'm going to down save it to Illustrator CS6 because this all works the same way in Illustrator 6. And if anybody ever has any older versions, then they can save it back in that and open up the file and not have any problems. So that's that.